Schumacher with Citadel Defense. Um, <clears throat> so, I uh, completed grad school a couple months ago, and uh, when I was in grad school, my, my lifting uh, patterns really got out of whack. Like, I just, I couldn't lift as much as I wanted to. I, I just found I didn't have the emotional energy to really continue to, to be in the gym consistently. And then our second uh, child was born recently, and so I'm still kind of recovering to get back into a steady pattern of, of, of lifting, which is, this is the most I've been out of it in the last 10, 13 years um, of just having a really inconsistent season. Other than that, I've been pretty consistent. So this time around, uh, since I've been out of pocket for a while, I wanted to really restart. I decided to pick up the book, Starting Strength, by Mark Ripto, which I highly recommend to you if, if you're interested in... in lifting weights ever at all. It's it's, uh, it's really super heavy on the science -y stuff. Uh, however, I found it extremely, extremely helpful. So, anyway, uh, I realized a couple things by reading that book. One, uh, I've been doing a couple lifts, not necessarily wrong, but not the best way I could be doing them. Uh, it's really changed how I view squats. Uh, it's changed my grip on the deadlift. It's really driven home the importance to me of, of overhead press. And so I've really um, been enjoying this book, and I'm learning all the stuff that I don't know, right? And I thought, I should have read this book 10 years ago, right? I should have read this book when I first started lifting. How much further ahead would I be now if I had that knowledge, if I had that training initially, right? So I was thinking about that, and I was thinking about that in the context of shooting, right? You know, the very first time I went to shoot a gun, I went with me and my buddy. Neither one of us had any idea what we were doing. And we had a Springfield XD. And uh, for some of you right there, like, oh my God, you poor soul. So <clears throat> we got out to the, the range, went rented the gun, you know, went into the shooting bay or whatever. And we were safe as far as keeping the gun pointed in the right direction and stuff like that. But we loaded all the bullets in the magazine and then tried to, to put the magazine in the gun. And we realized we'd loaded all the bullets in the magazine backwards. Right? Shameful, embarrassing story. Come a long way since then. But... The point of that is, of course, we didn't have training, we didn't have education, we were just going out to figure it out, like most of you have, like most of us have done, right? Since then, of course, I've, I've gotten lots of training and I've, I've moved up in the world, but my point is, when you're so new like that, you don't know what you don't know. Or, you do what I did with lifting, which is, I've been doing this for a decade, I've, I know what I'm doing, I've been doing this for a long time, and then you finally uh, get some education, and you realize... You don't know what you're talking about, and you haven't been doing it right, and you still have a lot to learn. And that, of course, is a repeatable pattern with anything in your life, right? But I think in the shooting world, that is a specifically acute problem, because I have people come through my classes a lot who think they know what they're talking about. I've been hunting since I was 12, and, you know, this this thing of, I've been doing this a long time, I'm competent because I'm experienced. Experience and competency are not the same thing. Often in life... They are related. However, that is not a guarantee by any stretch. Just because you've been doing something a long time, it just might mean you've been doing it wrong for a long time. So, <clears throat> this is my encouragement to you to get some formal training. Uh, learn how to use your gun. If you've been shooting your gun for a long time and you've never sought formal training somewhere, then go get some training. Or, if you already have sought formal training, then you understand the importance of what I'm telling you. Uh, getting training from a competent instructor, one, is addicting, two, is fun, and three, you understand the need for it, and often, it'll lead you to desire more training, right? So, don't do what I did, don't spend 10 years doing something just to find out you did it wrong. Go get some training, come see me, we'd love to teach you how to shoot those guns. Do brave deeds, and endure.